Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tales of Yoibos Beginnings. This is a mini-series introducing new characters to the world of Yoibos, our D&D campaign setting. Uh, today, we are introducing a character that we have, we personally, like a lot. <laughs> Press the digitation. Uh, Press the digitation. <laughs> uh, our wizard. Uh, so we are going to be focusing on Chris's main character for our main campaign, uh, a farce. Uh, so, Chris, if you want to explain a little bit more of your character, you can kind of dive straight into uh, the story. Of course, yeah. So, I my my character is Mafaris. He's a tiefling wizard. Uh, specializes in school of evocation, but that's not very relevant at this point. Um, he grew up in a small village, pretty much in the heart of Barstil, a continent to the far south. And he, uh, ever since he could read, ever since he was taught how to read, he was always, always in the books. He was always hitting those books. He didn't go play with the other kids. He didn't go. <laughs> they were, they were uh, go irrelevant. On adventures. Yeah, he, <laughs> he liked to read. And that's what he did. Um, he went to like a very basic school that was sort of just taught by one of the wiser uh, members of the village. And once that whole process started he uh realized he was different he was he wasn't loud he wasn't violent like all the other kids he often found himself isolated from uh from everyone else which didn't bother him at all there's more time to read You're like Booyah. less distractions <laughs> uh, quickly rose to the top of the class even some of the uh older students he was he was easily outsmarting them made a lot of made a lot i don't want to say enemies but like I guess childhood enemies that they did they didn't like him because he had that like that air like, of uh yeah like a little snooty like yeah like I'm too good for this so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna go read <laughs> um so his parents decided to save up as much money as possible to get him a uh, a proper education and they were acquainted with someone from the uh, a trader that constantly went to uh yesmar and back so they saved up money uh afforded him an education at a boarding school in in yesmar hopped on a boat when he was 12 no not even 12, no probably like 10 yeah. at this point yeah hopped on a boat when he was 10 went to a completely different continent <laughs> oh, no wait. no supervision no <laughs> just to learn beautiful yeah so uh yeah so you uh mafaris have uh, joined a small crew on your way to Yuzmar. Uh, you know, uh, while you are on this travel, you're forced to help swab the deck, all of the very of course, yeah. gross things that no one wants to do on a ship. Yeah, menial labor. Yep, uh, you are forced to do. Uh, but you guys are able to make it to Yuzmar. Uh, as you guys, you know, make it to the dock, you see that Yuzmar is a very large, large trade uh continent uh you know pulling up from uh, a ways away you can see just docks and ships all along the coastal uh areas of yasmar you guys um dock on the far eastern side of yasmar um if you're looking at the map it's like right above this little island over here on the right side yeah okay um you guys pull into the dock, and uh, the trader who is escorting you kind of just pulls you along. You guys gather all of your belongings. Uh, you can see that he's talking to the captain for a few moments. Uh, it's a lot. It's a kind of sensory overload for you. Mm -hmm. uh, just so so much is kind of moving along. Uh, he kind of grabs you by the arm and rushes you off of the ship. You guys go into uh, the city of um, of Wormsen. Wormzen, uh, W O R M Z E N. Z E N? Yeah, Z E N. Okay. Um, you can see, uh, you know, throughout the town, it's just hustle bustle. Uh, a lot of what seem to be, uh, the lower class of individuals here. Um, you kind of pay it no mind. You're kind of 
you've been looking forward to a change of scenery for a very long time. So this is a, a whole new world um, mm-hmm. for you at this point. Uh, it takes uh, about half an hour to walk away from the dock uh, until there is uh, what seems to be like a large uh, wooden building. Uh, it seems to be where the uh, students all live. Okay. Um, so it's like more like student housing type of thing. Uh, the gentleman walks walks through the door with you behind him. And he talks to what seems to be like the the supervising adult. Uh, you see, like a uh, a very broad shouldered woman, uh, kind of has uh, lightish brown hair, um, just wearing a, a very basic uh, tunic. tunic. Yeah, uh, they kind of exchange a small conversation. Uh, you can you know hear oh like money, housing, students. You're not really paying too much attention to the conversation. Too busy looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a whole wide world uh, open to you. Uh, in this uh, in this housing area, though, you can see that there's like bunk beds, um, bunk beds, bunk beds. Um, there's a lot of different uh, kids who are kind of just lounging in their beds. Some of them are kind of like on the foot end, playing with what you can see are like basic wooden toys. Um, nothing too extravagant. The uh, the trader um, kind of pats you on the shoulder and just says, good luck, kid. Just walks away and the uh, the woman walks towards you and looks down and says, well, you're paid for? Go, go, go find a bunk. Uh, oh, okay. You, uh, you make your way down. You can see there's multiples on, on each side. Uh, Kids are kind of like looking at you and kind of also paying you no mind. It's kind of just a, a, a motley crew of younger kids here. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can you pass by one of the bunks and uh, it seems to be two empty um, empty beds, one right on top of the other. Mm-hmm. I'm taking the bottom one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was there first. I get the best one. That's just how it is. So you, uh, you begin, uh, you know, placing your small amount of uh, books down. Uh, you weren't able to carry too much considering uh, the long travel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you do have your books. You do have a, a basic little roll uh, that you place on top of the bed just to give it some extra cushion. Uh, as you finish laying down uh, your little padding, uh, one of the kids comes up to you. Uh, it's a very uh, thin looking um dwarf uh thinner than you would ever imagine you know it's a it's a young dwarf mm-hmm. uh but not as not as stout as you have read in books uh but he definitely has the facial features of of a dwarf so you got uh, the the mustache growing in yeah yeah it's it's like it's like a pubescent just like barely coming in just mm-hmm. just around mm-hmm. patchy yeah he's just like hey how are you doing uh I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's always exciting when there's a new student here. Yeah, I can tell. It's uh, wow. Never been to a city this big before. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Where do you? Where? What kind of? Do you come from? Like a small town? A small village. Yes. Ooh, that's exciting. I love learning about small, densely, not dense, just small little towns where where small people come. What are they called? They call them small folk? Little town people? What are they? Villagers. Those people. Yes, it's <laughs> villagers. Uh, you guys kind of chuckle a little bit back and forth. He he introduces himself. He's uh, He says, uh, people like to call me Tinker. Tinker? Tinker. Tinker. Uh, well, my name's Mafaris. Mafaris, I'm so excited for you to be here. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> you guys have a, a, you know, you guys just exchange a little more information about yourself. Pleasantries, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in... I'm looking visibly uncomfortable. Like, <laughs> yeah. After five minutes. So he's very, very excitable. You can yeah. see that, like, 
he doesn't get to do this very often. He's not picking up on the cues. Nope, nope no, absolutely he's not. <laughs> off doing his thing. Okay. Um, after a few moments go by, though, you do see that he kind of goes back to his bunk uh, just to kind of relax. And you mm-hmm. can see that he's kind of gossiping a little bit more with the other students around his bunk. I'm just going to plop down on my bunk and open a book all right i'm not sure which one quite yet but <laughs> but something mm-hmm. yeah so you, so you begin mm-hmm. uh this one. you start looking you start reading your book uh at this point it's probably around uh like lunchtime ish okay uh just from the walking and, and trying kind of settling in uh the uh the woman uh brings in uh Three or four individuals. You, you think that they may have been like local cooks or something like that. Uh, they come in and, and bring very basic uh, loaves of bread, um, a few assorted cheeses, and there's a large table towards the, the back area um, where everyone kind of uh, culminates to. Okay. Uh, you see that a bunch of the kids are kind of like ripping the bread, like of course, getting yeah. like animalistic, just like, oh, I'm hungry, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but after a few moments, uh, you see that there's a few pieces of cheese left, a few pieces of broken bread uh, on the table, as well as um, some fresh fruit. Oh, hmm. oh, yeah! Hmm. I'll make my way over there. I'm gonna go grab no cheese, just bread and fruit for now. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So you not feeling it? You grab you grab your little assortment. And you turn around, and there's this very um intense looking girl standing right in front of you okay uh she her 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 face has a very strange glow to it mm yeah it's a very uh kind of like crimson look to it um but it it has like a very strange glossy structure as well. Okay. She kind of just looks at you. She looked down at me? Yes. Oh, she's taller than oh, you. Oh, yeah. She's taller than you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Looks down and just says, Only fruits and bread. No cheese. Uh, no, not feeling it today. <sighs> you intellectuals. You kind of just like, steps by you and just glares at you for a second and goes and picks up I'm gonna, I'm gonna match her glare like she steps next to me and looks yeah, at yeah. me I'm looking back at her ooh yeah it's that very dramatic like ching. and then I'm just gonna start walking I guess as soon as she does it's like it's like we it's in sync like we yeah. choreographed this <laughs> yeah. but we didn't <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so you guys have your lunch uh, and you know you go back to your bunk area kind of get more comfortable again mm-hmm. the, uh, can I go see what uh who's tinker talking to during the lunch sequence uh you can see that he there seems to be like a a small little group that he kind of hangs out with Mm -hmm. you see um what seems to be like two humans uh one's a one's a boy one's a girl uh they may be like they they're related in some sort of way Okay. Uh, they they definitely know each other. Uh, but as of right now, they're kind of just sitting around eating their bread, cheese, and and assorted fruit. Uh, you can kind of hear them like laughing and giggling uh, in the distance, but nothing that is like you can't really pick up on their conversation too well. Okay. All right. Not not interested. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, so after a few moments, uh, the. House mother comes in, uh, kind of sits down with you and says, okay, so you are paid for for this school year. You can see that she's very disinterested. Yeah, it's just um, reading a script. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so there are a few places that we can send you, but we're going to send you to uh, the school um, for individuals who want to learn, <laughs> again, Eye rolling. My eyes are glowing. <laughs> I heard learn. I'm excited. Um, so tomorrow morning, we will have a carriage that will pick up you and the few other students uh, who will be going to this school. 
Okay. All right. So what, uh, what time? Uh, we will be waking you up promptly at 5 a.m. Okay. Every day, Monday through Friday. And Saturday and Sunday, you help around the house. Okay. Those are the rules. Tidy up after yourself. Uh, I'd like to imagine as soon as she says tidy up after yourself, I like look back. My bunk's perfect. There's like, I don't even have, my bag's not even out. Ooh, you know, it's, it's already like tucked in a cupboard or something. Just And on the flip side, you can look across for where Tinker's at and very disheveled, yeah, very disorganized. Imagine, yeah, just the rats all over the place. There. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can do that. Very well. We will wake you up. Well, no. But we'll call you for supper. After supper, bed, bed, to school. Kind of just stands up, turns around, walks away. I kind of want to look around, see okay. if there's uh, anyone else reading. Yeah, make or a. If they're already in like their clicks. Roll a perception check. Don't goof it up. <laughs> 21. 21. 21. Woo! There's a little stall on the edge of the dice tray. <laughs> Just, whoop. I like toss it right there, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you can, looking around, you can see uh, there are, you can definitely tell that there's clicks. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of assumed as yeah. much. Um, you can tell, like, there's a, there seems to be a Goliath, a, uh, a human and a uh, what, what seems to be like a uh, what are they called? An orc. My God, I don't know why I couldn't think of orc. Uh, Full orc, half orc. Uh, I mean, it's a young one, so it, hard it, to tell. Yeah, yeah, okay. you, you can't really tell too much. Uh, but you can see like three of them are kind of like semi wrestling, kind of throwing crap at each other, like you know. Kind of like the jock group, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Out over there, there are a group of um, girls who are kind of you know giggling and, and gossiping. You have Tinker with his two friends, uh, and you also see what looks to be like an older um, elf sitting with a younger elf. Kind of just the two of them sitting down. Uh, me, it, it, it looks like. The older elf is kind of going over some material with this younger elf. Okay. So yeah, older I'm gonna, elf. Uh, I'm gonna approach that group. That's uh, the two elves. Okay. Yeah. You kind of walk up there. They seem very um, focused on mm -hmm. what's going on. Uh, kind of not paying you. Too Are much they of like facing towards me, facing away from me? Uh, so the younger Are they one like is here. And yeah, I'm... yeah. So like, um, one based on, on based bed. on the orientation. So like, this is the bed. Um, one is facing this way, one is facing this way, and then you are walking up like this. Oh, okay. I kind of just want to, without really saying anything, I just want to walk up and look and see what they're doing. Okay, yeah. You I, I want to see the book. I'm curious. Uh, yeah, so you can see that they are uh, talking more calculations. Uh, okay. It seems like they're that uh, the younger one is kind of having a difficulty uh, understanding a specific formula. Uh, so this the older elf is kind of explaining step by step as to how the specific formula works. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit there, try and figure it out in my head. Just based on looking at it, yeah, yeah. Can I try and figure this out? Yeah, roll me, uh, roll me an intelligence. Oh, fourteen, fourteen. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you either. Um, you can either give out the answer. Yeah. Or you can, you know, keep it memorized and do with whatever you want to do with it. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna memorize it. Okay. Just look at it for a couple moments. They, they like, they aren't even. No, they're, 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 yeah, they're gross. They're just, they're he. <laughs> you can tell like this younger Alf is very determined. He's trying. Yeah, he's just <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> 
Okay. I'm a strike conversation with the younger of the two. Okay. And I'm just gonna look up at him real quick and be like, "Hey, what are you working on?" He kind of just like looks up. He's like, "The homework. The homework. Don't you have the homework?" You can see like he's a little frantic. Yeah, I know. I just I got here today. The uh, the older elf turns to you very eloquently, just like. Oh, well, welcome. What uh, what school will you be going to? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, the 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 adult just said I was going to the schoolhouse. Oh, you're going to schoolhouse. Yeah, school. Right. Um. Is there, is there supposed to be a hyphen in there? There's a. I'll have to explain it, I guess, a little bit to you. What we're working on is a little more advanced than uh, the curriculum that you will be going to. Will I eventually? <laughs> Am I doing like the beginner courses? Or I eventually move up? Or I hope you do. <laughs> you can see that he's like kind of... He's a uh, oh, what's the word? He's he's cushioning the blow for you. Ah, uh, uh, he just says, you know, hopefully one day, uh, when you're much older, you will be able to uh, to study something of uh, of this stature. Um, you know, but uh, I do ask that uh, you leave us to uh, our tutoring. That way, uh, he may pass his uh, his exam. I'm a, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna look at the younger elf and be like, "You just move this, uh, this piece of the this integer over here, and the whole thing just makes more sense." You see, as he kind of follows your fingers, and he just goes, and I walk away, back to my back to my bunk. Yep, <laughs> I'm <about to> open <laughs> a book. <laughs> so uh, the the evening kind of continues. You kind of make your rounds a little bit throughout the day just kind of like being perceptive just, just keeping looking. an eye on everything just looking yeah um uh the supper bell begins to ring and by bell we mean iron skillet being smacked just ding 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 ding, ding. uh very similar to how lunch went three individuals follow um the housekeeper bring them in it's just a very basic bread uh what looks like a large uh piece of meat that's mm -hmm. cut up into individual pieces. Uh, instead of the feast that you saw during lunch, it's uh, broken out to individual um, small oh, portions. Portion yeah. Out. Okay. Uh, for each one of you guys, uh, your plate um, has more meat than bread. Uh, unfortunately, there's no fresh fruit this time around. It's okay. I like meat. Yeah. <laughs> I like food. Food. Food is just in one cheese. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so the the night goes pretty easy. You guys kind of all settle into bed, uh, and then the you all kind of sleep it off to the next morning. You guys wake up to again the loud iron skillet being banged throughout the the house. Everyone's kind of super tired, rolling out of bed. You see Tinker still sleeping. Uh, kind of walks up uh, towards Tinker and drops the iron skillet on his stomach. Just Wakes him up. Uh, you, you can tell that this is probably a daily occurrence. With yeah, him. there's nothing, nothing new. There's, <laughs> yeah. no, there's no yelling, nothing. Nope. It's just... Um, so everyone gets up, everyone gets dressed. Uh, everyone is escorted outside of the house. You can see that there are multiple very dinky carriages. Nothing too fancy. Uh, oh, that, like glorified carts? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that kind of come up. And you can see that there's different um, sections for each school. Uh, you can see the younger elf with uh, the um, the twins that Tinker usually hangs out with. Uh, they kind of go into their own cart, take off. Uh, you, Tinker, uh, the the large larger girl that you had mm -hmm. encountered, uh, as well as a handful of other students all kind of pile into one cart as you guys make your way down. Uh, it takes about 
20 or so minutes by carriage mm -hmm. uh, to finally get there. But uh, you guys stop, and you can see this very large but run-down building. And I mean very run-down building. It's also wooden. It's all wooden. It's all wooden. Yep. The, uh, you can see that there is one of those um, like signposts that no longer has a sign. So it's just like a post that comes out, kind of like a okay. kind of like a seven, a little piece of like rusted, yeah, chain. Uh, and then right on the the top of the door frame of uh, of this building, you can see that it's etched in S apostrophe cool, right on top. Kind of like lean over to Tinker. How long have you been here? Oh, I, I think this is fourth year for me. Why is, why is school spelled wrong? What do you mean? There's supposed to be a, is this a place of education? Yeah, it's school. What do, what do we learn here? Oh, you know. Jumping, wrestling, uh, uh, fighting. Um, uh, someone, someone made a fireball happen once. Huh. You see, at this moment, as you guys are kind of like standing okay. on the outside, <laughs> you hear a whoosh. Oh! You see, like, a larger, muscular guy kind of, like, run on the outside, like, kind of breaks one of the windows, the wooden windows, like, the wooden frame. Mm -hmm. Like, outside just jumps right out. You see, as he kind of, like, goes, looks around, he's like, oh, yeah, jumps straight back into the window. Forrest is trying not to have a panic attack right now. <laughs> he's not really talking to anybody anymore. Hey, you see as a uh, counting <laughs> in his head. <laughs> you see as a, uh, I mean, you follow as the other of students can you yeah. continue in um, through the front door. As the doors open, you can see that the hallways are just there's a, um, oh god, what are they called? The um, like streamer type of things, mm -hmm. kind of all over the walls. You can see that there's random writing all over the place. Uh, there's there seems to be like a, a decent bulletin board uh, where there's like four or five untouched pieces of paper and then just claw marks on the other the other half huh. uh you step forward uh and there is uh a, an adult um standing right in front of you looks fairly young kind of within the same age range as that older elf that you uh had mm -hmm. seen the, the day before uh kind of just looks at you all just like hey hey Welcome to the new student. Uh, the little red dude. What's your name? Mafaris. 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 You see in the, in the background, you can just Mafaris. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Kind of just goes, all right, guys, you all know where you got to go. Uh, Tinker, you go to, like, that nerd layer over there. Uh, Theo Theodora, wait, the Theodora, no, it's her name. Theon, Theon Drona, that's the word. Theon Drona, uh, go hang out with the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> go hang out with the hellhounds over there. Uh, and then the other peep squeaks. Y'all need some training, so just 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 head back to the training room. Mafaris, you uh, you uh, you dabble in the in the fisticuffs. No, no. Uh, do you uh, do you like sports? Always been interested. All right, so uh, that's a good inclination. I think you're fitting real good here. We have a uh, we have a we have a sports team called the Hellhounds. So uh, if you want to go on head on over there, they are gonna teach you some fun fun stuff. You're gonna learn 
so much here because here we are school. He kind of just points at you, divvies away. School. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I'm walking, can I glance at the uh, that bulletin board? Uh, see yeah. what those pieces of paper are. Yeah, so you can see the one of the pieces of paper is, is um, like kind of like a call call to action, uh, looking for um, like a new point guard for some type of support. You're not entirely sure. Okay. You haven't really heard of it. Uh, one of the others is it looks like wanted poster, like a faded wanted poster, mm -hmm. but it looks more like a mock up more than like a, a real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can see on the picture that it looks to be uh the guy that ju you were just introduced to, kind of like a like a side profile of him. What's his name? Uh, Kate. Not Kate. Uh, his name is Famor. F A M O R. Teacher for school. F A M O R. Yep. Okay. Famor. Uh, the one of the other ones also uh, is, you can see very faintly. Again, these these bulletins look to have been up there for a while. Mm -hmm. Uh, it looks like it's calling for um, a new teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why they would have that inside the school. How do they advertise to people? Yep. That doesn't make sense. Nope. Okay. Does anything make sense in this place? <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> no, no, there's floors and walls. There's a ceiling, I think. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Uh, so yeah, you uh, you make your way further down the halls. Do you want to search for anything else? Uh, can I? I just want to like take glances inside open doors. Okay, yeah. Like so, see where like the nerd zone is or whatever that Tinker went to. Yeah, so it's further in the back. So you make your yeah. way. You're, you start walking down this hallway and you kind of peep in uh, the doors, just kind of glancing and seeing what's going on. You can see it's very rough. Like just it's different classrooms where either people are starting to like hit each other with, with blunt objects. Uh, it did, does not seem like there's any real organization here. Uh, there's one room where for a second, he seems nice and peaceful. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of people who are kind of like sitting down cross-legged and you begin to see fireballs just <laughs> kind of like pop all over the place. Uh, to the point where, like, the, the door is, like, now covered in flames where, like, you kind of have to, like, back out a little bit. No, I don't. Ooh. I'm a tiefling. <laughs> you're right. You're yeah, right. You're right. It doesn't you know, bother me. Yeah. You just, like, <laughs> you kind of look like flames and you kind of hear, like, oh, you're an asshole. Oh, fuck you. Get to like, just hear just yeah. banter back and forth. Um, you continue down. You can see in the, the one of the rooms to your right, um, like, very large... The, the Goliath and a couple other guys, they're wearing what seems to be like black tunics. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see on the back of one of them, it has uh, HH inscribed on the back of it. Uh, kind of just sitting down, looking at like, it's like a wall chalkboard, mm -hmm. where it's like not a chalkboard, but like kind of just writing on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell it's like, yeah, this is the play. This is what we're going to do when we take them down. Uh uh, and then if you want to either go in there or continue down to where the nerd area is at. Yeah, I kind of want to just jog over real quick, take a real quick glance in. Okay. Like two seconds and then go back. Yeah, so you, you get to the back of the uh, of the school and you can see that it's it kind of there's a small um, decline, a small set of stairs where it kind of opens up. There's a lot of different tables and looks to be like a lot of different junk. Like a lot of thrown out pieces, um, messed up desk, broken chairs. Uh, you can see uh, like a couple of like old machinery that's like rusted over. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see Tinker and a handful of students kind of just dicking around with little pieces, kind of like, you know, using them as airplanes. Or you can see a couple of them kind of like making action figures out of it. Uh, you do see Tinker, though, kind of sitting down in this box that he's working on. Um, you know, he has, like, makeshift tools that he's just, like, cranking away at. We'll see what the hell hounds are up to. 
All right. I'll ask him about it later. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. I was told to go somewhere. I got to go somewhere. <laughs> so you turn around and you enter through uh, the door where the hellhounds are having their meeting. You can see multiple very large individuals kind of all turn their attention to you. Uh, hi. Uh, Bamor? Bammer? Yeah. Uh, sent, told me to come here. He told you? To come here? Uh, yeah. Oof. All right, little buddy. Just uh, just sit down. We're going to... Oh, boy. This is a mean joke. Uh, okay, yeah. So just uh, sit down right at that desk over there. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to figure out a position for you. Um, how quick are your reflexes to throw, uh, roll a d20, uh, add your dexterity modifier? Are they throwing something at me? Oh, yeah. Okay. 19. Oh, all right. So you see... A flat 19. As, yeah, you see as he... Uh, like, he's kind of like being a little patronizing, kind of like tosses his arm, right? Like, you can see that he grabs something and like tosses it straight forward at you. I'm not even going to catch it. I'm going to slap that shit. Oh! Right. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you, you smack what seems to be like a large um like leather ball just poof you're like knocking it. everyone just goes like whoa uh did i was that good did i do good bro <laughs> those reflexes dude we gotta get them as the point as the point you see as the uh and it's the the what's her name? The and the Androna looks very upset. Oh, she was going for that position. Oh yeah. Oh no. Very upset. She's kind of just like dogging you. Her hair just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just just looking at you. But everyone else in the in the classroom is just super stoked. One of the guys gets up, just like, yo, dude, my name's Brawly, man. Oh, we can't wait to have you on the team. Hi, uh Mafaris. Oh my god, nice you're gonna to be you awesome. What's his name? Brawly. Brawly? Yeah. Is that pretty... B-R-O-L-L-Y. Brawly. Hellhound. Teammate. I guess. Good names. No, these are just names at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so like after uh, a few moments, uh, the everyone sits down and um, Framor kind of explains to you uh, the games that they play. Uh, so technically, uh, it's supposed to be played with uh, a head of something, hmm. uh, but for right now, we're using a, a leather ball because uh, you know we got to teach you guys, uh, you know, ethics here uh, for some reason. But don't worry. Uh, normally, you know, you either play it with a head of goats, a head of a head of something. It's usually it's a head of a thing. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, Brawly knows a guy who uh, who plays this very often, so uh, he's the primary uh, captain of the team. Uh, but we're gonna go over uh, a few of the rules for. Uh, I guess you'd call it. Uh, we just call it head at this point because there's no like goat head or or goblin head or anything like that. So we're just we just call it head. But the idea of head is to make sure that it does not touch the ground. So you you <laughs> your goal as point is to make sure everyone's in coordination with each other. You're the point guy. You're the point guy. So you need to make sure if someone's back is turned, that it's not. Okay. That's I... your that's your job. You you have the reflexes to make sure that everyone's on point, point guy. I can just imagine there's just like a, a small vein like <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. <laughs> this is woo. <laughs> okay. Uh so you yes, know sir. they they kinda they kinda go over the rules a little bit and they 
throughout the day kind of teach you the the ropes around it. Um, I'm you picking it up. You huh? Am I picking it? Yeah, up? you strangely are able to pick this up fairly quickly. You know, it's it's not the most uh, mind intensive game. <laughs> Uh, but everyone's very impressed, uh, other than, uh, Theandrona. So the day continues on. Uh, you guys have a very intense lunch break. Um, what do you mean by intense? Oh, intense as in it's, it's all or nothing. It is uh, a it's mad madhouse. Yeah. Just as soon as the plate is dropped down, just, uh, everyone gets fed around the same time. Uh, very similar to how you guys were fed. Uh, at the schoolhouse or at the um, at the, the dorms, dorms. Uh, and you guys uh, end the day uh, kind of all together. You see, as a framework, kind of like brings everybody uh, to the back area to where that large area is at, mm -hmm. um, where the nerds usually hang out. Uh, he's just like, "All right, guys, it was awesome, great day today. I think everyone really learned a lot about teamwork, about work. Just, I think we learned a lot." You hear one of the other kids kind of just go like, I didn't get taught anything. That's great. Everything's going to be fine. We're all going to be good. We're going to come back tomorrow with that same mindset. All right, guys, everyone break, and I'll see you tomorrow. You see as he like, kind of like scoots back out of the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Tinker? Oh. Hmm. Uh I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to find Tinker right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, you see as everyone kind of follows out of the school uh, right on the outside, it's now like very busy work time. Like people are kind of rushing home. Ooh, and, what time and is it? Uh, at this point, it's like probably around 3, 30 or 4. Okay. So late afternoon. It was a full day for you guys. And 5.30 to to 3. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like full day. Just, I get behind it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, the different carts come, uh, just as, as it was over at uh, the dorms. Uh, everyone gets picked up individually. Well, not individually, but in groups, mm -hmm. so wherever they need to go. Do all the headhunters have a uniform? Like, they're all wearing some, like, distinguishing... Because uh, you said there was yeah. the one. Yeah. Um, yes, for the specific school. Well, no, so... They are not wearing any specific colors. It looks like it's kind of like, like it just says headhunter. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant. Like, are they wearing something that shows out of like the group I'm with? Uh, that they are headhunters, yeah. or they are at the, the sports, sports. Well, ball. they do, but you don't. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, it's the same like black tunic, just just with something on yeah. the back of it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you. You get into the into the carriage um, with you know your other teammates or not your teammates your uh, classmates mm -hmm. and uh, Tinker kind of looks at you and just goes like, "What area did you go to?" Uh, apparently, I'm now point for the headhunters. I got <laughs> yeah no it's not. I don't, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated than it was. You know, pretty wow. straightforward, honestly. That's super cool. God. The, oh. what, I, uh, where, where did you go? What do you do? Because I know uh, Famor said something about the nerd zone. Yeah, I mean, that's what he calls it. I wouldn't really call it the nerd zone. It's more of like, you know, like when you don't... You, you know when you're eating, like dried fruit and there's like that one sad fruit that just is not big enough or tasty enough to really be part of that little bunch of fruits and you kind of just like yeah no i understand what you're saying yeah that's that's more of where we go we're kind of like, like we're not we're not good enough to really be like fit and like coordinated enough to be you know warriors so i mean that's where we go charles here he made like a little plane you see like right behind tinker like you see charles has like a little what well, looks like a piece of wood with like ribbon just going like what's uh 
What's what's a plane? I don't think like the plane. Uh, oh my like god, a bird, plane? a bird! I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What dimension are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, I was like, oh, God. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's uh, pretty cool. And you can see that he's he brought back the uh, that box his little box that he, that he was holding. He's like... I saw you were messing with that earlier. Uh, I was I was meaning to ask you what... What is that? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, here, let me see. So, he, like, kind of opens the box a little bit. And as he opens it, like, uh, it looks like a, um, like a turning, like a turning table. Mm-hmm. Uh, that has different images on it, and he's like, okay. uh, um, uh, I don't, I haven't tried it yet, but I need fire. Is this works in theory? But if we get fire and put it right here, and I turn this little bit, then you should see a moving hand. How crowded is this cart? Uh it's it's pretty crowded. Where do you need the fire? Uh, like, where specifically? Yeah, so if you look at the box, it's like it looks like there's like a little wick that kind of pops up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna. Can I see it real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of hands it to you. I'm gonna look. I see the wick. And I'm gonna look to him and be like, okay, this is something I uh, I read about, I want to say, a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, never really got to try it yet. You can see, like, him and Charles get super intrigued. But in theory, oh. I cast Prestidigitation. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the wick. <laughs> <laughs> you see, as a, as a flame begins, it's, oh! You see, as he picks it up, everyone, like, everyone is, like, super excited, like, dude! You see as Tinker, like, flicks the little turntable, and you can see as it's, like, an, uh, a small animation of a man. Oh, what are those called? Oh, God. Like, in the that. real world. Mm. I don't know what they're called. Or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, you, see, you can see as, super it's, cool. as it's, like, a dude just, like, bouncing a ball. Like, you, you like, the, the optical illusion is, like, you could just see, mm-hmm. like, a dude going like this. Mm-hmm. Just, like. This is really cool. Oh my god, uh, it works! It works! It works! Look at this! You can see just Tinker like super stoked about this. Hell yeah. I'm super stoked for him. Woo! Cross him on the on the back and be like, hey. good job, man. Yeah. That looks yeah. super cool. Oh my god. So this be kind of becomes your guys' routine. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, over the next few weeks, you you become a variable a, va- a valuable asset to the uh to the team. Uh, yeah. Uh, while well, at the same time, you and Tinker kind of create this interesting bond of like you're you're kind of like the jock nerd who yeah, is very I'm interested. like that middleman sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you know throughout throughout the uh, school day, you have Theandrona who is very pissed off at you constantly. There's this very like un. Uh, you cut the tension with a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, just you guys are. At each other's throats during practice, uh, she's she's very, very aggressive towards you um, for the next few weeks. Uh, at which point, uh, it is now about their tournament season, mm. where you guys have you know played a lot of uh, different local uh, groups. Uh, it's, it's scrimmages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but now it's like it's really time for you guys to. To really focus and you know be the be the best team. Uh, what in, are these uh, other in teams Wormsday? like? Where do they come from? Is it the other schools? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see. That makes sense. Um. So you now you're able to like you and your team kind of leave school a little early uh, to kind of knock out these these uh, different games here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, at which point, uh, Tinker. And Charles kind of feel a little left out. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of missing their their buddy. And they've come to you with a lot of different suggestions about some ideas that they've had. Uh, he, uh, Tinker in particular, has asked you, like, you know, have you ever seen uh, a hot air balloon? 
No. No, I can't say I have. He kind of like places this small, uh, kind of like a, a, a prototype mm-hmm. air balloon, like right in front of you. He's like, can you do your presentation? You see how like the balloon begins to kind of like float midair. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is exciting. And then I'm gonna gently grab it and then just snuff the flame out real quick. Okay. And be like, oh man, it's gotta be because what he uh hot air is less dense, rises yes. up better. Yes. Oh, this is me talking to Tinker. No, no, it's okay. like yeah. And I'm like yes. So this just captures it and it it, it generates lift. Uh y- yes. Like it, it holds the hot air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, just yeah, it just yeah. like it, it like it like holds the flame. I wonder if there's a way you can adjust the flame to make it bigger, so more hot air, or smaller for less hot air to go up and down. That's a good idea. Tra- you hear Charles go like, "Damn it, that's genius!" I'm just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, mess with that for a little bit. We'll see. Do you do you want to do you, do you want to come and help us? I wish I could, but unfortunately, it's tournament season. Oh, I'm sorry. But uh, when we get back to the house. Yeah, yeah. When we get back to the house. When we get back to the house. You can see, like, kind of like the disappointment in his face kind of just turns around. You see Charles kind of like pats him on the back <laughs> as they go back into their, their little corner. You see as a uh, frame just be like, hey, before us, let's go. Yes, coach. Do, 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 do. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Run off. You uh Try you guys up with the team. Yeah. You guys uh make it to a very large um like it looks like a play area. Uh more like an open field. Mm-hmm. Uh there's a lot of different uh parents that are there for the other students. Of course. Uh and there's a lot of there's a lot of commotion. A lot of just people yelling from the stands. Uh it seems like you guys are kind of used to the one team versus one team, but because of the uh, the the stakes that are at play here in um, in Wormsen, it's a all for all kind of a uh, kind of game today. Meaning, there are a total of twelve teams. Oh yeah, a total of four balls. Oh, and it's just. It's whoever last team standing type of thing. Okay. Uh, points are divvied up in a, in a different way than you're yeah. used to. Uh, so so for head, well, we'll say ball, head ball, uh, the points are typically divvied up by if someone hits the ball in a specific way, you get a certain point. Mm-hmm. If there's a, uh, a flare hit, as you would say, something that's flashy, you get bonus points. Uh, for that's for the uh, for the the team on team. However, for this one, the way points are divvied up, if you hit the ball in any form or fashion, and the opposing team hits the ball in a more flashy way, the enemy team gets the point. That person who then got outflashed is out. Huh. So okay. it's just escalating, okay. Escalating as you go. Kind of, they kind of like go over the rules about that a little bit. Kind of just say, "Okay, go." You hear a whistle and and chaos ensues. Ensues. Um, roll me a d twenty. Uh, athletics. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, God, it's all the way in. All right, I'm just going to roll a different one. <laughs> it's underneath that panel. Ten. Ten? Uh, Ten. Yeah, so, so you, the first instance that you have uh, against an opposing team, uh, you're able to outflare them just barely, uh, taking out one of the one of the opponents. You can hear like your team kind of like going like, yeah, woo! But it's kind of lost uh, in like, the chaos because it's, it's just, it's like rugby, just mm-hmm. in the but on a larger scale. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, so the, the next few uh, moments, you're kind of like 
you're trying your best to see what's going on. Um, however, you know, the, the training that you've had over the past few weeks has really paid off. You're able to kind of position yourself in a way that you can see your teammates yeah. as well as call outs. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh. Yeah, you can see Jeremy uh, behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, you can see Framor is like very like intense and like very ex- accepting of the fact that you are at this point you are taking control of your team. Yeah, this is this is my time to shine. Yeah. Um I'd like to uh for a couple of these points. Mm. I'd like to do a little dash of magic. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Just so like some some minor prestidigitation. Yeah, just minor ones. Yeah, like uh, like if I get a a really solid hit up on one, I'm gonna make it look like as I hit it and it pops up, mm. trail of like sparks. Ooh, things okay. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if it's if I'm spiking it to the other team to try and force them to mess up. Yeah. I'm gonna imprint some like uh, glowing uh, symbol on it. Okay. And yeah. It's That's leaning going. towards them, you know, kind of like trying to disorient them. Yeah, yeah. So you see, as it's like, <laughs> like these Crazy. different instances go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Roll me, roll me an athletic check at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yep. I can just do both at the same time, huh? Fourteen. So as you are about to do one more flare, you're kind of almost mid uh, mid action. You can see as the Androna rushes in front of you and punches the ball out of your way. So it's her touch, right? And she see and you, she faintly says, "It's my turn." She hits the ball, and you can see as a very, very large orc kind of does like a, a a front flip and kicks it back, hits her right in the face, falls down. I'm going to go for it. Oh! I'm going to try to keep it in play. It's dirty. I'm going to try and keep it in play. Let's go. 18. Oh! <laughs> you're able to smack it. Poof! Right in and the then, air. And then I'm going to call uh, Joshua. I, we don't have any fantasy names for my teammates. So like, <laughs> Joshua Cover, and I'm going to go to her. Yep. Be like, are, are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, reach out to, to help her up. She, like, at first is, like, very distraught. Just, like, very pissed off. Really, it's not the time for her right now. We got we got a game to play. We got you can hate me later. Let's go. <laughs> she kind of like <laughs> she grabs you. You throw her up. Just like you can see now that she's even more like she's she's less pissed and just seems sad. It's time for that later. We vent, we, we we can vent we can vent in the, in the locker room. We got a tournament to win. You see how she kind of like. <gasps> <laughs> Rush forward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You guys continue the, the the game. You guys destroy the rest of the teams. You you find this new like pumped up hypeness mm-hmm. within you. you. You're showboating a little bit. You feel like you're in the zone and everything. I'm uh, also letting the the other teammates showboat a little well, bit. Yeah, too, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. I'm not I'm not hogging all the <laughs> right, right. No, like, but I'm everyone, making sure people are paying attention. Everyone is super hyped. The entire team just feels like it's one cohesive unit you guys are kicking everyone's ass the final ball hits the last guy gets knocked down he's no more the crowd goes wild everyone's super hyped just <laughs> You're running up to people and like grabbing them by their heads and just, yeah <laughs> you can see in, in, in the, the stand so I don't have to worry you, about you can see them. charles and and uh um tinker, and tinker just being like what points to them be like <laughs> Uh, you guys, you know, try to kind of calm down a little bit. Everyone goes, gets refreshed a little bit, mm-hmm. kind of just goes into the, I guess, the locker room. Not really yeah, a locker yeah, room, but the, the cart, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone just kind of just, just cools down and 
being Jonah looks at you and just, you know, I thought you were only, only an intellectual. But I gotta admit, you're far, far better than I could have possibly imagined. You hear as Joshua just be like, Hell yeah! Without him, we wouldn't have won! <laughs> no, 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 Joshua, Joshua, it's a team game, it's a team game. We all participated, all right? <laughs> I could have fucked up at any point. You know, any one of us could have fucked up at any point, but we practiced, and we re... Fucking team effort, guys. Team effort, guys. I'm looking to every single, like, looking eye contact at yeah. every single one of them. I'm just gonna go off in some motivational speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post-fucking tournament victory <laughs> speech. So yeah, so you you continue this nice speech where everyone feels like morale is high. Mm -hmm. Everyone feels very, very confident. At the end of your speech, you all hear like a knocking. Just... Mm -hmm. The door opens and you see a man who's wearing a very lavish robe. Mm -hmm. Kind of walks forward. You can see that he is... Uh, he has, like, long brown hair and a nice full beard. Can I tell what race he is? Oh, yeah, you can tell that he's a human. He's a human? Yeah. Okay. He uh, steps forward and says, "Where is the uh, the tiefling? Am I the only tiefling in this room? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that. It's me. Who are you? I would. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Rodas. I would like to speak with you." Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna turn and look at uh, the Andrana mm -hmm. and be like, um, "We should we should talk after this. Let me let me see what where the where the fuck this guy is. Let me see." You what he see wants. as a as Framor kind of goes like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold, hold on, hold on. I'm the adult here, and yeah, you can't just you can't take. Hold on, hold on. You can't you can't do this. You can see as like." Hordas kind of like puts his hand over mm -hmm. to uh to Framor, and Framor kind of just like kind of becomes silent and sits down. Did just it look says, like he did anything interesting with his hand? Did it did it look like he he muttered something? What's your I, passive? Oh. Perception? Twelve. Uh no, you you could just you you I know just that saw him do like yeah, a wave. The hand, yeah, okay. Obi Wan, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did that mind trick, yeah, that bitch. Uh huh. Uh, so you guys kind of step out of the area where you guys can kind of meet eye to eye. He kind of goes down on one knee. He's far taller than you are, <laughs> twelve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, he kind of asks you, you know, we were we were looking at you and. Uh, we know exactly what you were doing during your play. Yeah, no, I thought it was, uh, you know, going off of the rules of the sport. It's, it's, it's all about flourishing. That is very true. And uh, we're always keeping an eye out for individuals that have a special kind of flair to them. You obviously are one of those individuals. Where did you learn this magic? Oh, uh, uh, this is a something I brought with me from uh, my village in, in Barstill in, uh, in some of the books I brought. And then a couple of things I picked up from uh, village elders, uh, not necessarily not necessarily elders, but the adults of the village. So you are an individual who does indeed 
want to learn. Oh, that's. To, to be quite fair, this is exactly what I came here for. I didn't. I didn't expect this, but. What do you think of this? You see, as he like snaps his fingers and just bright lights, and a large radius around him, kind of like appears. That's very useful. It's amazing. Snaps once more. <laughs> Everything kind of comes. I'm gonna snap my finger and I'm gonna summon my uh, my familiar. Oh, it's a raven. Beautiful. Yeah, right on the, right on, right on the, the the arm, the shoulder. How does an individual like you attend such cool? You know, I don't really know. I uh, my parents didn't know too much about like the whole education thing. That's why they sent me here. Um, but I was, I was, I was under the impression it was going to be completely different. I thought what? I was going to learn academics. I thought I was going to read, not kick a ball that's supposedly often played with the head of a slain creature. Yeah, goblin head is making its way. Well, great sport though. We all love it. Yeah, great sport. Um. Do me a favor. The next few weeks, maintain your schooling. Mm -hmm. We will be back. We? Yes, I we. Is there someone here with you? Do I have... Oh. No, okay. He kind of doesn't say much else. He just says... Cryptic. Yeah, yeah. He says, enjoy your time. Because what you want will come, but it won't be easy. Nothing's ever easy. No nothing worth pursuing. He kind of shuffles through his um, cloak a little bit. And he gives you a tome. Grab it. Yep. It's probably like this big for me. Yeah, very, very big for your small hands. This big. Is there anything on the? Nope. The cover. It's blank. Nothing on the spine. All blank. Nothing on the back. All blank. Hmm. In time. In time. Stands up. Walks away. And open it. Blank. Every single page? Yep. You start like thumbing through it. Just <laughs> telepathically to the the familiar. I'm like, mm. oh. What do you what do you think about all this? You can speak telepathically. Right, right, no, I know. <laughs> he, uh... Wait, can you? Pretty sure, because you guys should be able to talk to each other. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. And can communicate yeah. with it. Kind of just looks at it and goes... Which ones do you already know? It's there's, there's there's nothing in here. Right, but which 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 ones do you already know? Well, I know this prestidigitation, and I'm going to. Uh... So as you cast prestidigitation, prestidigitation. You can see as the magical markings begin to write in the book. Description of how it is, what it does. Mm -hmm. The necessary mm -hmm. verbal, somatic, yep. material costs. Uh, 
Uh, go to the next page. Am I outside? Inside? Yeah, you're still outside. It's outside. Firebolt. <laughs> I'm looking at the book. <laughs> you see as it begins to write. Oh. I don't think I'm allowed to just like pop uh, frostbite out. Right? It has to be targeted at some I, point. Yeah, I think it's a, an attack. No, it's a, it's, it's, it's a saving throw. Oh, yeah, then no. Mm. Okay. So a few moments go by, you kind of explore a little bit more about the book. You can hear as Framor opens the door, just being like, Yo, yo, where'd you go? Where'd you go? He, uh... You can see as, like, all the other teammates are, like, kind of... Going... It's fucking fucked. <laughs> like, just like looking mid, around you. Mid, uh... Mid, like, magic missile. What, just in the air? Yeah, yeah, I'm just popping things okay, off and adding them to the book. Okay, yeah, just... Yeah, everyone's just looking at you. And then, like, you... I'm going to the open page. At this point, while you're doing this, um... The Androna kind of walked up to you, being like, uh, you okay? Guys. Yeah. I think I'm fine. I think I'm more than fine. Okay. Um, well, we're all gonna go and celebrate. Do you want to come with us? I snap my fingers. Familia's gonna disappear. Like, yep. All right. Yep. Let's do it. You yep. hear his. Yep. As everyone else is like, woo, let's yep. go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys uh, go off and celebrate. You see as framework kind where of. Do uh, huh? Where, where do we go? What do we do? Uh, you guys go to just like a, a local eatery. Okay. Uh, you see as framework kind of like sneaks you guys some beers. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh. He's that guy. He's uh, the cool uncle. Yep. <laughs> uh, and the next few weeks kind of uh, calm down a little bit. Uh, you guys continue going to school. Uh, you have made a, a, a good amount of friends here, both in you know the athletics department and the nerds. Mm -hmm. um, the weeks kind of continue on doing the same. You and uh, Theandrona kind of have a more mutual respect for each other. Mm -hmm. um, throughout the weeks, she kind of confines into you as an individual. Um, you know, you guys create a pretty strong bond. Um, at this point, it's probably like a year through your schooling, um, okay. that you've been attending here. You have made a strong connection with everybody that you've met here. One day though, these two individuals in robes walk through the halls searching for Mafarkas. Roll me a d20. That's a natural one. Oof. You it are... bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it had to happen at least once. You, uh... You and the Androna are, uh... in the hallway, kind of holding each other's hands, talking... Far more romantically than you guys have would have ever thought of talking. In the sense of, you know, the, the young romance as a child. Mm -hmm. The two individuals in robes touch your shoulder. And you feel this strange dread and happiness all at the same time. You can see the robes hung over your shoulder. The Androna kind of looks bewildered. I'm, I'm just double checking. One of them is Frodas, yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah. Three weeks already, huh? I'm going to look at the Androna and be like, Time really does fly when you're having fun. She kind of looks puzzled. Doesn't know what's happening. From what I gather, I'm leaving today. 
What? I'm never coming back. How after the conversations that we've had? I never thought this day would come. You can start feeling as both the men begin to pull your shoulder. God, they don't even say anything? Nope. That's fucking weird. All right. Uh... I'm gonna like I'm assuming I'm still holding yeah Theodrona's hand. I'm gonna clasp it with my other one and look at her eyes and be like, I will I will find you. We will this <laughs> this is not the last you'll see of me. I promise you that. And then I let go. She kinda just looks at her hand. Very upset, you can see as like her eyes begin to kinda water over. <laughs> You follow. See, so, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. My eyes are, it, yeah, like just, the tears aren't even coming down; they're steaming. Just, woo. <laughs> yeah, just, woo. just steaming. Yeah, you you turn your back with the two gentlemen and begin walking down the hallway. You can hear in the back, right behind you, Tinker and Charles making their way, being like, "Hey!" They see the- Theodora. They're like, "Hey, Theodora, what's what's going on? What's that? What's where's he going?" She can hear in the distance that they're kind of consoling each other, being like, "What? What? I don't. I don't." I'm... You can hear Tinker in the distance going like, "Mafaris, Mafaris." And glance over my shoulder, like, "Next time we see each other, that hot air balloon's not going to be a prototype anymore, huh?" I promise. I promise you. I look forward to it. You can hear like in, in like a little cry, just. Mm-hmm. Like... You uh, you guys make your way outside. And uh, I'd like to pull out the spell book. Okay. And uh, look to Herodas and uh, open up the first couple pages mm. to show, like, I, I, I'm making progress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm making progress. He looks down, sees the book, looks across over your head, and says, That Mia? I told you. You turn to your right, and you can see a very tall, very clean elf with long blonde graying hair it has like mm-hmm. that, that combination of of gray and blonde looks down you're gonna learn a lot and i hope you're ready because as a uh, hodas told me you understand the pain that will come from wanting what you of desired. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to start counting in my head. Trying to calm myself. Because like the realization has finally hit. Like I'm like, oh fuck. This is actually happening. Alright, so the the two gentlemen take you to uh, to the dorms. You pack up the essentials. And they kind of like wave away. Well, like as you're bringing some stuff with you, pardon me. They kind of wave their hand, indicating like, "Don't bring this. Don't bring that." Specific things like minuscule, minuscule items that they find minuscule. Okay, but do I find them minuscule? No. One item being that of the box that Tinker had given you. And look to them, you're like, this comes with me. I I can leave everything else. This comes with me. The two kind of look at each other. Or I'm not... No. <laughs> or no. Hroda, you can see Hrodas, despite being in a very stoic stance, kind of shrugs. They both nod and just go, okay. You take your items. They begin to escort you out the front. The uh, the housekeeper, or not, whatever, the, the, the woman in charge kind of like pays you an old mind. Of course. You see as Protoss throws a leather pouch of coins on the desk and escorts you down to the dock. You guys make your way. 
onto a ship where you see the two disrobe. They finally fold their clothes into a small chest. Mm. You can see that they're now wearing more uh, like leather, seem more of like semen type of clothing. Okay. They place their chest uh, in their quarters and it's not a large ship, but it's more of like a like a medium like a, like a faster ship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sacrifice just for like travel. Size for speed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They kind of turn to you and This is where we begin. It's only been a year since I've uh been on a ship. Where are we going? We're taking you to the tower. It's another continent known as Zakanio. This is where you'll, uh, where we'll teach you many things. Okay, but like, what's like the coolest thing you can do right now? He looks at one of the barrels, waves his hand, and you see as the barrel transforms into a horse. Full size living horse. Full size living horse. Yeah, see, that's cooler. <laughs> that's much cooler. That's really fucking cool. In time, you'll be able to do it as well. I don't know if I choose a horse, but... He, he kind of turns to... Uh, um, to... What's his name? Frodor? Frodas? Pro yeah, Frodas. And uh, does, he's a snarky one, isn't he? Kind of nod at each other. You guys uh, depart yeah. from the dock. To be fair, the last like year has been spent with <laughs> not very interesting people to talk to that are more physical than anything else. Well, thankfully, you have smarter people to talk to now. Moments go by. You guys kind of get comfortable. The ship makes sail. And that's where we'll end this little, uh, this episode of Beginnings from Afar. Of course. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you liked it, please make sure to subscribe to our website. Uh, make sure to check us out on Twitter and Instagram, and we'll be we'll be back with uh, a new character in the next episode of Tales of the Oibos Beginnings. Yeah, okay, bye.